way that they look and their activities in their way that they speak to you in the way that they look at you in the way that they touch you like so there's quite an expansive way of of finding out well, how to and so it takes a little bit of time it takes a little bit of you know what is it that I would really desire someone else to bring to me and I also then ask them well how do they know that so how do they know when that is happening how do they know that that when that look is how what else like, so we get as much information as possible and then we flip it around. Here's the here's the part that not everyone likes so much. <laughs> Is we flip it around and I say, here's the other side of the list. And how are you going to give each one of these to yourself? And okay. Can you give us an example of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you an so something like you you want them to. I when I like and then this process comes from me. So I, I wanted someone to, and I told you the beginning, the depths of somebody's soul, and I wanted to be able to really, you know, look into somebody's soul. And so I thought that actually I actually need to do that to myself. So for a long time, I sat in front of a mirror, and I sat in front of the mirror, looking into my own soul, looking into my own body, looking into my own pleasure, seeing the different faces of myself, seeing the different – and bringing all of those things that I wanted, all of those looks and all of those feelings that I wanted externally, I brought them to myself. And so I give this now as you – know, and sometimes people, it's, you know, as simple as I want them to bring me flowers so, you know, we, you know they can organize buying themselves flowers. I want them to, you know, touch me in a really caring, caressing way. I want them to hold me deeply. Well, you know, so can you – or can you, if you hold yourself, what would it take for you to hold yourself like that so that it feels deeply and you can get, because the other thing that happens is your neurology, your neurology gets it, your body gets it, it gets, if it wants to be held deeply and you're holding it, it then gets it and it can relax. And once it relaxes, it actually stops wanting it externally. And so what often happens is people realize, really clearly what they do want and really clearly what they do desire and they're not I suppose if I if I spoke about it in social terms it's that we're not need we're not needy anymore. We're not that uh, sticky uh, needy, sticky kind of you have to do this for me because we already have it. We already know how to give it to ourselves. So that what then what we want is a bonus, is an addition, is a an add on. It's not that we have to have it to complete us. Is that helpful? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, uh, and again, Mayola, this is, you know, this is so in line with, with what I, you know, help women mm -hmm. with in, in respect that, you know, we we need to learn to, to do stuff for ourselves. And, you know, mm. since we, uh, anything that anyone, you know, when we can give and that comes back to us, as you say, that is the bonus that is the bonus there because actually we are coming from, a, we want to come from a place from abundance because if we come from a place mm. of, of lack and of need, what we're mm -hmm. doing is we're just wanting to take the whole time. We mm -hmm. need something from you. I need you to do this. Mm -hmm. for me. And if that person cannot deliver for whatever reason, that is the wall mm. then, isn't it? We then created a wall. But it's actually yes. in in our own mind. There's actually nothing, you know. We create. They they do say that, you know, humans are. Well, life is simple. We complicate it beyond measure. <laughs> yeah, totally yeah, agree. Yeah. When we, as you say, when we slow down, when we really take the moment just to be present, because that is all we have. That is all we mm. have is that very, very moment. We do not have, you know, in 10 minutes time. Well, hopefully we do, but we don't know that. All we have right no. now is this present moment. Mm. So I just love how, you know, you've explained that to, to the listeners here today, that this really is how you can really develop that deep intimacy by working on yourself. It's not even having mm. to have any deep conversation that you feel embarrassed about or whatever but it's about when you're truly uh, uh, in that space with yourself that you can actually create those feelings and those create feelings create the connection so yeah i love that i love that thank you Great. thank you so 
Love. So it is. It is all about loving yourself first, and then mm. you know, and then the play. The play part of it is we just mm. don't have enough fun, do we? We seriously mm-hmm. don't have enough fun in, in life. Can we just talk about about play and fun, just to bring that up? Oh yes, yes. So, I mean, I have said I don't know how many times to I say to people, if it's not fun, then don't do it. You know, our, our both with ourselves and with our partners, they're forcing through the. Having to tolerate the, the I, look, and I'm not suggesting that you finish the whole activity, but it's find something that is fun. So if we're in that curious space, and if we're in that, you know, what could happen here, and what else is possible, then that is a place of fun and a place that we can bring our our love out to have fun with. But if we're in a place of where well, I have to, well, I think they're having a good time, so. I think we should just leave it. I'll just stay here. I'll just, I'll just put up with. I'll just tolerate. There is an essence that neither of you are having fun. So, and that that energetic connection, it, it disappears. And pain, like for me, unless you're into pain, like so that's a different, that's a different category. But if you're tolerating and you're in pain, oh. We have lost you, my Ola. Let's just try and get you back again. Are you there, my Ola? Okay, we've lost my Ola. Just talking about pain there, so we will try and get her straight back on the call. Connecting again, hopefully, fingers crossed, because we were just coming to a... Yes. Hey, we lost hey. you in the moment of pain. Yeah. Moment of Obviously pain. Obviously got, got too excited there, hey, the connection was... <laughs> oh, God, was a bit... <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll, I'll, I've got skills, I'll, I'll try and remember to breathe. <sighs> oh, <laughs> love it. What? Love it. So, yeah, yeah we, were, um, we were just talking about... Um, you know, when the pain, you just finished on that little word, pain there? Yeah, yeah. So when we're in pain, our body's not, not sending not sending blood flow, it's not sending lubrication, it's not sending mm. anything that is uh, uh, encouraging of fun or arousal or curiosity or any of those things. So if we can shift things around and come back to the body and go, okay, well, what would feel be fun? And it might be just tweaking things a little bit or it might be changing the whole scenario. But then moving it into fun, and when we have fun with someone, we that builds intimacy and that builds connection, and that is we want to have more of it. We want to have, you know, the body remembers then as well. Oh, that's right. This is this is when we have fun, and this is what happens, and where. And so there's, you know, there's more of those good hormones that flow. There is there is more. You know, we smile, which is always joyful. But when we're having fun, there is we take that out into the world as well. And yes, my my current my current line: if it's not fun, change what you're doing. Just change it. Just yeah. don't don't do it because because the body doesn't react the way that you think it's reacting. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. If you're not having fun, just just stop it right there and do something hmm. do something different because it is it does change your life having that deep intimate connection. It isn't just about the intimacy at that moment. It affects. The way you see that person, the way you have breakfast together, the way you go for a walk together, the way you, you know, uh, the way you ask them to empty the dishwasher um, in Mm -hmm. respect. Because connection in any relationship is ultimate, as we were talking earlier. You know, we all crave that connection. And I think um, so many of us today, we just do not have the intimate connections that we want. And we don't know how to get there. You know, we don't know. You're, no. you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to have sex three times mm-hmm. a week. You're supposed to do this. Mm-hmm. Who says? Who is this person mm-hmm. telling us what? It's the stuff we read and, um, as you say, the films and, 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 and you know, the, the play on us. But, yeah, fun. We all need more fun. fun. And I, I'm so with you. I'm, you're, it's such an important message, Myola, and you know I'm I'm so so grateful to you that you're you're doing the work that you're doing, and you're sharing, and you're such a very caring person because you really talk about the stuff 
that people don't really want to talk about. <laughs> but they kind of want yes. the end result. And, you know, we need more people like you because um, it is important and it is, it's very sad to go through life and not experience, you know, people are missing out, seriously missing out. Um, if, if they're not able to experience these feelings, emotions and experiences, don't you feel, yeah. Mayola? Yeah, and, and often we don't know what we don't know. Yeah. And it's not, un, it's not until we start to experience things that we start to uncover. And there's often a, a, an essence of sadness that comes up for people that I work with that, wow, I've, I've missed on 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 years of, of this. And, and, and there is, and we do do a grieving process and a, and a, the other part is, well, aren't we thankful? Aren't we thankful that you took the time now and didn't waste the rest of your life or that you took the time now to get a sense of what's happening in your body, to notice what's happening and to, and to make the changes because it's practice and it's dedication to make the changes so that, every, so that your life becomes something you want to live. It's, it takes time. It takes dedication. Yeah, it does. It takes time and, it, and it's work, isn't it? It's work and dedication. And that's what, um, and that, that again in society, you know, we shy away from that. We want something really quick. Mm-hmm. We want the quick fix fast. You know, what do you do? Yeah. Bing, bang, bong. Okay, right. So we've gone from naught to this most amazing sex life, this most amazing, you know, intimate connection in you know, 24 hours, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, it's a, no. it's a process to go through. But one that just continues, um, which is so exciting. And it doesn't it just get better and better? It does just yeah. get better and better, yes. And the more curious and the more fun and the more possibilities and the more open you are, the more of that that comes, the more yeah. of that that awakens, yeah. yeah which, is, which is so mm. exciting. So exciting. Right. You can find the beautiful Myola. You can go on social media. She's got a Facebook. Is it a group or is it a page, Myola? I have a page. You, have have a page. you can find me on, yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. Um, she's at facebook.com, myola.violet. That's M Y O L A dot violet. So you can look her up there, connect with Myola on Facebook, and learn more about her. Um, she's also got a page, The Erotic Coach. So look, mm-hmm. look my own up on that. She's on Twitter, Twitter at The Erotic Coach. And on Instagram, Instagram at Myola Violet. So those are the social media pages. You can go and uh, look those up right now. And have a look at Myola's website. If you go to www erotic e-r-o-t-i-c <clears throat> excuse me coaching.com.au so have a look at my owner's um website there excuse me i'm gonna cough again <coughs> it's just been such an exciting morning my owner it's taken over my voice Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and my owner has a really really special offer for all of you listeners today the five principles to sacred lovemaking ebook. Wow, wow, this is something I'm definitely going to get. So, listeners out there, go and log on to eroticcoaching.com.au forward slash five principles forward slash. So, go and have a look there and download that ebook today the five principles to sacred lovemaking ebook wow and before we say goodbye to the beautiful Mayola I just want to read out her favorite quote and it's by Anis Nin and it is and the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Wow, what a beautiful quote. What a beautiful quote. And I can so relate to that one myself. So, Myola, I want to thank you so much for today. It's been absolutely fantastic. I could talk to you all day long. Um, yes. And I can see us doing another show here because there's so many different aspects to all of this. But it's been um, a wonderful eye-opener, definitely for me. And I know for many, many of the listeners out there, it's been um a fantastic morning, afternoon or evening for them. So I'm gonna thank you so much. Um and thank we you, will talk to you soon. It's always it's always a pleasure speaking to you. I love it. We we're, 
we have you know similar synergies and similar 